Alright, welcome back, welcome back to all our listeners in Bushwick. This is the second episode of That's a Fact Podcast. I'm here back again with my boys, Andy Andy and Heno. You already know. Say what up, say what up, show some love. You already know what it is. Today on That's a Fact, we're going to go over a couple of current events. Today, in honor of uh, Women's History Month, we got two beautiful, talented ladies here with us today. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Let's get into it. We're going to be talking about R. Kelly's interview. We're going to be talking about Michael Jackson's documentary, Leaving Mm -hmm. Neverland. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to talk about the Momo scare that was going online around for the kids. I know. And my nigga Heno is going to hit y'all over some job listings. In case y'all trying to get back on your feet. Or if you're already on on your feet already and you're just trying to make some extra bread, my son Heno got y'all with the listings for today. That's right, that's right, guys. Welcome back. So that's a fact. This month we got a, a couple of special ladies in the house with us. We got uh, talking about Women's History Month. We're talking about how uh, women throughout history have impacted our society and this country. You know, everybody from Susan B. Anthony to Elizabeth Stanton to modern day figures like Michelle Obama and of course Hillary Clinton. You can't forget about those ladies. But we got ladies making history today. In the house with us, we got music artist Luna Maria in the house with us, and we also got Chelsea Williams, an international uh, women's rights activist. Okay. And, you know, we just got to bring it back to Bushwick and show you where you can find it. The show today is sponsored by Latino, Taino Body. I'm sorry, Taino Body. It's a small business created by Al Shuli on the Andi. Moisturizing scrub and moisturizing scrub. Get a clean, revitalizing <laughs> feeling bath in your salts face. Bath salts too. Don't forget the what? Bath salts too. Don't forget about the bath salts. Yeah, yeah. Bath, I mean the good kind of bath salts, not the <laughs> crazy bath salts. He makes all his products from home. He steps all on handmade. The, he steps on the grapes himself in his bathroom. <laughs> you already know. We're gonna. I told you we're gonna that's make the, that wine. That's the key to success. <laughs> that's we're the key gonna to call it star, star wine. <laughs> Step by your one and only true and only Andy Marte. What's your your slogan? Is uh put your foot in it. Put your put your, put your <laughs> foot in it. Andy <laughs> Andy right. wine. Put your feet into it. Well, uh, I just want to I want to I want to thank the listeners and viewers who tuned into our first episode. Um, right. I'm anxious to talk about you know how how you think we did the first episode. How how you how you think it went? I mean, I w- I felt good about it. Yeah, being as it was our first episode, I don't think it could have gotten any better. Yeah, no, I think we we got a lot of good feedback. We had I think like almost 300 listeners the first show live listeners, and then it's like all kinds of people listening to us like. For the first episode, political people, yeah. music people, people from the hood. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people want to be part of it, too. I remember that same night we we recorded that night. I went to the store. I saw one of my boys. Yo, I saw y'all was uh, doing a podcast. When y'all going to have me on the show? <laughs> Man, the same night already. <laughs> That's a good look. That's a good look. <laughs> Next month's show is going to be on 420, so you know, we got to oh, figure man. out. What we're gonna do with that? Cause that's gonna be interesting. Four twenty. Four twenty episode. Episode. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, you know. But I think I think overall we did a very good first episode. Our second episode is gonna be just as good, and we're gonna just especially we you know we we did that in like a week too. Yeah, we planned that. Whole, we planned this whole idea in a week. Like we was like, yo, let's start a podcast. Ideas, about yeah, ideas kept flooding. It's something we want to do too people for came in for the interviews. They saw the banners. They saw the mugs. They was like, "Oh, these guys are serious." They saw <laughs> the lights, the cameras. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, yeah, we said we said that's a fact like forty times 40 in our times. first episode. <laughs> yeah, we even got the council to say that's a fact. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> you know how they be doing a high ninety seven? They got like the people always like they record all their speakers. Yeah. And then in the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The sound bites. About to stop doing that, so we're gonna have to have a. Our musical artist today, Luna Maria, saying that's a fact on the mic. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> so our first guest is Luna Maria. She's a singer, a songwriter, an entrepreneur, art gallery curator. And that's only after 5 p.m. During 9 to 5, she works for the district attorney office, which is pretty dope. Impressive. And Impressive. Thank you in the criminal court system, right? In yeah. DA's office. That's pretty dope. Thank you for being on the show. That's Thank you a for fact. Having me, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> So I uh, uh, just want to get into it. Like, what, what put you on the music? What got you started? Well, honestly, I used to love music since I was little. It just so happened that um, 
I remember for, in sixth grade, we used to do like a Christmas show and we had to do the 12 days of Christmas. So it just so happened that I was the one who did the five golden rings part. You know, that's the only uh, part in that song that's really popping. Yeah. <laughs> so, when, at first, that's I was like, but, yeah. so when it was rehearsed, so I was there front and like, I don't want to do this, having like a fake little attitude, like why she chose me, blah, blah, blah. But when the day came, I killed it. And they was clapping for me and everything. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I, okay, I got this. Did you do like practices and everything? No, I definitely oh. didn't. But after that, I just fell in love with singing and performing. And I knew that that's where I wanted to go. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That song is long. That's pretty so long. That was a long ass song. It was, yo, five golden rings came. They was clapping until you heard number one. Like, you ain't even hear four, three, two. Because they was just clapping. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. So you just My had to scream that part? You had to scream? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only part that you made to attack because the rest of it, you just be like, 12 golden turtles. I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> that's uh, funny. So Luna, how, how has the music industry changed for you? Um, in the, especially during like the Me Too movement. Like, have you seen things changing for you? Um, I feel like it's kind of hard, especially being a woman, because... Um, like I said, I wanted to sing all my life, so this is something I take very seriously. So sometimes I'm trying to talk to somebody about business or something like that, and they don't really take me seriously because, one, I'm a woman. Two, they're thinking that I just want to expose myself out there, and that's not the type of thing I'm looking for. Like, if it ain't about business, I'm really not trying to hear it, you know? And it's really difficult, especially, like, if you're attractive. Some people approach you in a different light, and it's like, listen, I'm only here to talk about business, all that stuff gotta go out the window mm-hmm. but they're looking at you first like oh she's pretty let me see you know so it's kind of difficult being a woman trying to come into the industry do you think they that take advantage think, right yeah. do you think that having a personality like let's say like cardi b who's pretty like out there you know she's like i'm a stripper i'm all about embracing my sexuality as a woman do you think that helps or hurts in the music industry um well i think it kind of helps because if you look at the generation now, that's what's very mainstream. You understand? And when it comes to hip hop, hip hop is very raunchy and stuff like that. Exactly. So that does sell, but there's, you know, it's versatility. You could be raunchy sometimes and you could be modest other times. You For understand? Sure. So, and we as women, we're very versatile. One day we, you know how guys say we crazy, we bipolar, whatever, but that's not the thing. It's just we're versatile. We have masculine energy and feminine energy. So one day I could be like, oh, I want to go twerk at the club. And then the other day I'm just like, I want to stay in and drink tea and read a book. Sure. So yeah. it, it really depends on who you are as a woman and the um, like how you approach it. Because you could be popping your butt. Look at Cardi B. She's doing her thing and she is hot right now. She right. is everywhere. But she puts on a face like, I'm all about business. I'm, I used to be a stripper. I like to twerk. I like to do that. But when it comes to my business, my business is my business. And that's no, what you know, and even a lot of uh, strippers kind of embrace that, you know, that, that, that job. And it's to, I mean, this, a lot of strippers are not just, you know, people have like a bad image of strippers, but strippers right. usually are like, I mean, like hustlers are in, in, right. in and of itself, right? Yeah. Like, Definitely. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure it's hard to be a stripper, like right. having to be up all night, like shaking your ass, your knees probably hurt, like <laughs> your feet hurt in them heels, like you, you uh, know, but um, it's hard out here. And sometimes like, I feel like if we have better shot. opportunities, maybe a lot of people Phew. wouldn't push Going themselves to do stuff like a that. But we are, we're minorities and we're pushed to hard times. Thanks. So, you know, people take that route, but it is what it is. Cause there's a lot of people out here who are strippers they going to school. They making yeah. their bread. I was just about to mention kids, that. <laughs> they working hard as hell. You understand? So it's just a way of living, and you, you got to get it how you get it. You're not gonna be out here living like a sucker. So. For sure. A yeah. lot of the a lot of the strippers I met have their own businesses. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and a, they making what? Well, as an artist, though, as an artist, I think is a depends on the individual what kind of message they trying to put right. forward. Mm-hmm. But in in the artist in the industry, like even bad publicity is good publicity. Right. Mm-hmm. So when you're talking about a person like Cardi B, all that negative publicity is always going to just bring her attention, make people look at her. That's how she give was her made. More views. Yeah, exactly. Like, y'all yeah, remember Cardi B before she was an artist? All the videos she was yeah, putting well, she out. used to put up stupid videos where her teeth was all like. <laughs> 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 but nowadays in the music industry, for females, you have to have a gimmick, and you and you know, uh, sex sells. You know, you have to. That's a big fact. Right, definitely. Yeah. For like I said, you know, for female artists, we're very versatile out here. So you could be sexy, and you could be like. You know, have that Lauren Hill kind of brain. But, For sure, you yeah. understand. So that's a good. That's a good. Way to you know, we just yeah. gotta bring somebody else into the industry that could provide that for women. 
you know and that's pretty much what i'm trying to bring out like i'm kind of like trying to be a conscious writer but at the same time do it in a way that i can reach out to the youth because right now it is what it is that's what the industry is and these kids get brainwashed with all this stuff mm -hmm. because that's right. what's out there and they're gonna go with what's popping right now what's popular so we gotta you know bring a little extra to the you know to the game now let girls know that you don't have to be this type of right. woman you can also be that but if you are that then that's okay that's very very well female said. jay z that actually brings us <laughs> right, that actually brings us to our next question though uh do you have any general advice for young women making music who want to write music um definitely continue like you have to be consistent if you decide that that's what you want to do you have to work at it like no matter when like you could come to you could be tired and you come home but you got to understand that that's what you want to do you're not going to get nowhere if you don't practice your art so stay consistent and just be about your business if you're not trying to do none of that weird stuff with nobody let people know because people will take advantage of you you know you got to be strong you got to have a tough skin too because in this game, people criticize you. They're not going to like you. And, you know, it is what it is. You can't be out here crying because people don't like you. If that's what you decide to do, make that conscious choice and continue doing it. And I think that's an important message just generally. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think I think a lot of, maybe not even women, just young people in general, right. they have a hard time sort of just drawing boundaries with an employer and just, you know, right. and just generally like just saying, you know, this is what I want, this is what I don't want, this is what I'm going to allow, this is what I'm going to allow. Exactly. And it's a good advice to just have in, in, in general. What about for men? Any advice for, for the men? For men coming into the industry, pretty much to be consistent and... Business first, right? Yeah, yeah business, business yeah. first, man. Like, that's always going to be one of my main things. Be consistent and business always comes first because it's hard out here. And if you're not consistent, there's so many people trying to get into the game. Like, you have to put in that work. And you have to sacrifice. That's another thing. Like, the youth now, they want to be out to brunch. And, you know, brunch is fun and all of that. I want to be sipping mimosas, too. But I'm trying to look at the bigger picture, you know? I'd rather be sipping mimosas on a yacht and not sipping mimosa, you know, at the at a bar, like, two blocks down from my crib in the hood. So, you know, you got to sacrifice now. Now is the time when you're young. Like, you tired and all of that, that's all right, because later on you got a night, you gonna have a nice comfy bed, but now it's the time to sacrifice. You have to work now. Now the is popping. People yeah, coming, coming from Germany and I France know, to have yeah. the I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> This like ain't the hood no more. This, <laughs> this the booze hood. I'm proud to come from Bushy. When, when I go out to bars, people ask me, where you from? I'll be like, I'm a native. <laughs> I'm a native. Oh, Bushwick. Bush Bush they Bush Bush like that. Is that right now, like, but still don't get it twisted. Like, you could be drinking mimosas at the, down the block, and then if it's too late, you're going to see the crackheads walking out. Like, ready to do the thriller on you, like, you know? So, <laughs> so in honor of Women's History Month, we want to highlight your work with uh, a show you're putting together, Feminine Aura, yes. part two, March 22nd at 65 Pearl Street. Is that in, in Dumbo that, that, yes. that's being hosted? Yep. Want to just talk a little bit about that and just uh, give Definitely. Out so um, this is my Feminine Aura part two, and it's just a celebration of women. Every color, every age, every whatever. Like, if you feel like you're women and you that's how you consider yourself, we have a place for you to come celebrate. And it's going to be a great time. There's going to be a lot of art, a lot of vendors, performers. I'm going to have some ladies show a documentary they made about um, an immigrant mother who sells, um, like, churros outside in the street like that. And mind you, that documentary made me cry, so I'm excited to show that. Awesome. And I'm going to have somebody doing henna, doing tarot mm. readings. I'll have, like, a little photo booth set up. We're going to be drinking mimosas, you know? <laughs> Come through, That's, all. Only, that's <laughs> only for females? No, no, no. Definitely oh. not only for females. Okay. Males are... More than welcome to come. We're just celebrating the feminine okay, okay. energy. So y'all can come celebrate with us, you know. Without a you know, without a without a woman, a male could not have came to this earth. So yeah. definitely come celebrate us. Definitely, definitely. Is that is that something these type type of art shows is that something you've been doing for some time? Is it Yeah, definitely. I started um November two thousand and seventeen and this would be show number eight. Hmm. Um and at first it started out because you know, I sing and I rap and I needed a bigger fan base. I've always been a lone wolf in my life. So I didn't feel like now in the generation of social media, I had a big enough following to put my art out. So I started doing the art galleries. I started bringing people together and stuff like that to create a bigger name for myself. And I don't know where it just kind of 
became a hit and I just continue running with it and every show is bigger than the other and it's so great dope vibes I've never had like one issue in any of my shows like people are just like talking to each other and getting a little drunk here and there but you know it's always good vibes good vibes so we got any free tickets I'll definitely give you some free tickets yeah, I, actually, I actually have a little something, you know, I have a little something in mind that I wanted to talk to you guys, about, you know, after the show. All right, okay, no problem. So, but definitely exactly. I'll get y'all some free tickets so you guys can come. That's right, that's what's up. And then if I get y'all free tickets and you guys don't come, no, no that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hey, man, Dito. I actually got two, two more questions. Right, uh, besides, uh, you know, the struggle and, um, you know, growing up in Bushwick as a minority, who are some of your like idols in music, and what are some of your motivations for becoming as uh, musically involved as you are? Um. Well, I've always loved Alicia Keys. Like Alicia Keys is my, my girl. girl. <laughs> Everybody loves like, Alicia. What, what makeup though? I don't like the no so, makeup thing. <laughs> um, I've always looked up to like that conscious woman kind of thing. So this woman um, history month. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to hit you with the we got, we got international <laughs> women's rights activists giving us the face behind the scenes over here. Yes. <laughs> she's about to give you the tate quieto later when she comes on. You know, man, whatever anybody do on their own time is they good. <laughs> but um, definitely Alicia Keys. I love Lauren Hill, um, Erica Badu, Most Def. So like, okay. it, it was different because I was born in DR and I was raised in Bushwick, but in the neighborhood that I grew up, it was mainly Puerto Ricans and Blacks. So I would listen to a lot of like hip hop music, but then I would also I also like grew up on reggaeton, yeah. right? So it's kind of like a lot of different like mm, I listen to a lot of stuff. Born. Puerto Plata. Oh, nice. mm-hmm. I didn't know that about you. That's cool. Okay. That's what's up. All right. Well, Jim, you had you said you had two questions. Right. I, I, asked, both, I asked both of them. Oh, you oh, did? Yeah, I asked both oh, of them. Wow. <laughs> 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 Well, Luna, we'd like to thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. We guys. are I definitely appreciate uber it. Uber excited. She, ha- I think she had like six hundred following. I mean, likes on her Instagram. She was definitely showing us love. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Exactly. Exactly. We'll be talking about of things course. to come for the future, and of yes. course, um, we also have a couple of events we're trying to plan out um, in the neighborhood, and we'll definitely keep in touch about it to make yes. sure that we. I think we were thinking about planning out a. Uh, Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely keep me posted because I like to do a lot of stuff in the community and a lot of stuff that involves in art in general. Okay. Like for the summer, I'm trying to have a fashion show, so awesome. Stay tuned, y'all. All right. So <laughs> thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank you again for, for having me, you guys. <laughs> pleasure is ours. We're gonna take it over to our first music break, and we just finished talking with uh, Luna Maria. So we're gonna play one of her we'll songs on the first break. Love. We're gonna show her some love, let you know what she's about. Uh, what song are you playing from her? The song is called Bushwick Summer Life. Oh, yeah. This that song perfect, reminds me of, like, perfect it's song perfect. Song it's like the intro to the springtime. That's Summer Life. Yes. It's like the perfect song to play right good now. Good vibes. Yes. A lot of good vibes. But if you want to listen to Luna Maria, she's on SoundCloud. Look for her. Luna Maria. That's her name. YouTube. Luna with two A's. Luna. Yes. L-U-N-A-A yes. Maria. You already know what it is. You can follow her on Instagram after you follow us. <laughs> and <don't> <laughs> also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Just a little plug in there. Um... We'll be, we always throw up our videos live on, uh, not live, recorded. We'll throw up our videos recorded on YouTube. Uh, we're trying to get 100 subscribers, make our YouTube channel official. So don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. I don't have a name for it because they don't have a name yet until we get to 100. So YouTube.com, look for That's a Fact NYC. Let's throw on Luna Maria. That's a fact. We'll be right back. Trying to get their money, y'all. We're all so-
the stars I've been looking down from way up above My foot shrink is in the cosmos Where we all look up, we show mad love We even look good as fuck, can't fuck with us, man This bush with summer life feels right
get it tomorrow, I need it today I'm chasing the money, I gotta get cake Bitches they hate, I'm stacking my paper and don't go on day. Fuck on your bitch and I tug her away These niggas ain't mad, these niggas they hate Be your own niggas who feeling away Talking that shit, being not to your face, y'all